Step number three in assembling the channel slider kit is actually attaching the feet. As you can see here, we've got two, two feet here out of uh, black acetoplastic. They can actually be attached any along any length of the channel, but we're going to go ahead and attach them to the end here. Very, very simple part to attach. Um, basically, you want to grab a couple of the 632 by quarter inch socket head cap screws, put them in the very end right here. Go ahead and bolt this on, like so. Grab another one here. Bolt that in, just like so. So tighten those down. You can see the way it needs to look at this point. Next, we're going to go ahead and attach one of the feet here. Run that in like that. The other screw, whoops, other screw here. And tighten those down just like that. There we go. See, one set is on. We're going to go ahead and flip this thing around on the motor side. I'm going to go ahead and put them in right here. Go ahead and put one of the screws in here. So again, this is one of the simpler steps to do. And put the second screw in here. And go ahead and tighten this down. There we go. And now we're going to attach the last foot here. And obviously we want to use the top, top screws here. Both of those in. There we go. We'll go ahead and tighten this down just like that. Double check them here. And there you go. So, so now uh, both feet are on, either in. As I said before, they can run along any length of the channel. Even if you wanted to build a slider that was sitting on the side, these feet will actually bolt onto the side as well. That way you can set it this way if you wanted to. Uh, have the motor running perpendicular to the ground. So anyway, there you go. In the uh, final section, we're going to show you actually how to uh, attach your uh, device or actually the slider to the belt. So that's uh, step number four. So this was step number three. 